Hey Libra, what's going on? I hope everything is going well. We're about to hop into your reading and see what is happening in your current connection. Feel free to like, leave a comment, subscribe. Please keep in mind this can resonate however it can be romantically or not. Okay, so this is part one. I'm going to let you see the cards and we're going to talk about how I'm interpreting everything happening currently and then towards the end of this reading we'll get into part two that um, reading is available on Vimeo link is in the description top of the comments and I'll start telling you more about part two towards the end of this reading okay so um, let's look at the cards come back and talk about it okay Okay, Libra, so let's talk about what I'm seeing here. First off, whoever this is, you could be dealing with a Leo. They're showing up as the sun. Okay. Um, sorry, y'all. Um, actually, I actually have a Libra messaging me right now. <laughs> Um, so your, your person is showing up as the sun. So yes, Leo energy. Um, this could also be a water sign, a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. All right. So interestingly enough, your person shows up with, you know, fire and water and you show up with fire and water as well. Just a little differently. You show up with a scorpion, which is fire in this deck. All right. A number of you may have a Venus in Scorpio. I know that's kind of like a popular placement with um, Libras. Okay. And you also show up with the Queen of Cups. So here's your water, right? Cancer energy. Okay. And um, the current situation, we have the Six of Pentacles with Sodalite. All right. Now the Six of Pentacles, I feel this is you. I mean, the scales are right there. Um, 
the first thing I got Libra is like, I feel like you're harboring some sort of negativity against who this is. Okay. Um, a number of you are, I keep hearing the term still like still frustrated, still upset, still possibly, you know, angry. Okay. Scorpions here, right? So there's something here that you haven't moved past. Okay. With who this is. However, I do hear the term, like you're playing nice. That's what I'm getting here with the six of pentacles. I think you're playing nice with who this is not like playing. It's not like in a fake way. I think that it's genuine. Okay. I think you're trying to be as nice as you can. <laughs> um, that's what I'm hearing here. So when I say that, you know, six of pentacles, it, it's a card for, you're, you're handling this person in a balanced way where you feel like it's fair. Maybe they might not feel like it's fair. I don't get that with them though. I think they're happy with however it is that you're interacting with them right now. Okay. Libra. Um, cause they show up as the sun. Okay. So yeah, I think that they recognize that they recognize that there has been some sort of shift, but they're okay with it. You, I feel, you know, like I said, so for example, if this person is sending you a message, you know, you could be messaging them back, Libra. I think a part of you, it's like, I see you, you there's this duality with you. Okay. Like kind of the scales where a part of you, you know, I see you content and you have this sense of, um, satisfaction with, who this is with connecting with who this is. But then there's also a part of you that still harbors some sort of, um, anger. Okay. You're not being completely loving with who this is. I'm getting that Libra. You're not being completely loving. Um, Hold on. I feel like a part of you wants to give in to who this is, but then it's like you stop yourself. It's like that, that this is one side of you. And then this is another side of you, this scorpion energy. So this side of you, it's like going back to this person or, um, Yeah, it's <laughs> it's like you can't help yourself to go back to this person. But then there's another part of you that you know says no, you shouldn't do that. Okay? Like we're still upset. You know that this is going to like some <laughs> like something bad is going to happen. All right? Now, whoever your person is, they're going through, they, I don't know, they're in a different space, okay? Um, a number of you, I would say this person's almost like, I don't know, they're in their kind of their own world, Libra. Some of them may not even know that you're mad. Okay. With the sun card. I feel like whoever this is too, like they get, um, they get a lot of attention. 
it's almost like this rise to popularity, something like that. Um, yeah, whoever this is, it's, it is getting a lot of attention. Um, this definitely could be an Aries too. I'm hearing that because of the sun. So another trip around the sun. Um, they may also be going through some sort of awakening with the stingray. Okay. So experiencing like waking up, but it's like this happy type of, um, waking up. Okay. So like there's, I mean, if you know what I'm talking about, having an awakening, there is, you know, some people refer to it to as the dark night of the soul. And yes, there is a dark side of waking up. Okay. Because it's awareness. So it's not just aware of all the happy shit. You get aware of a lot of stuff. Excuse my language too. But if I cuss, I cuss y'all. It is what it is. Um, but there's also the lighter side of having an awakening. And in my opinion, it awakens you to your own power. You recognize, and this is what I'm seeing with your person, because the stingray has to do with confidence, um, developing a spine. Okay. Um, and your person I feel is like confidently, in this kind of spiritual waking up, they're realizing they don't need to hold on to the past. They're realizing they don't need to, that they're almost, they're happier being in their own vibration. Now, I don't know if that has to do with you or not. Okay. I'm just telling you what I see. I don't think so. I don't think it has to do with you, Libra. Um, I feel like this actually, this is actually your person. Like you're a part of this person's future. I don't feel like you're a part of this person's past. Okay. What do I mean by that? Like if your person is coming to, into this type of energy, okay. And this is understanding like I am a powerful being. I am in control of my own happiness. This is an awareness, you know, that, oh, I have the power to create my happiness. I have the power to do that. And when you recognize that you also say, oh, um, me and these folks over here don't vibrate together anymore. We're not on the same frequency. Okay. Cause their, their, their frequency is like raising. That's what I'm seeing here. I mean, the sun is like the highest frequency here. All right. So I see a lot of growth and development with who this is, and they are breaking patterns. They are separating themselves from energy and beings that, um, no longer are on the same vibrational wavelength. I mean, that's just what it is. So I'm seeing that. Okay. They're breaking. Yeah, that, that's what I'm seeing there. Okay. I feel like a number of you, you're going to know who this is though, because you kind of have given, I don't know if you're doing it now, but you've given this person a bit of the silent treatment. Okay, Libra. That's what I'm getting here but maybe it was necessary. It was like kind of necessary for you to do that so that this person could, um, get into this place. All right. It was essential for this person's growth, like you backing off out of anger or frustration. Cause I do feel like this is you too. You, you know, you're currently frustrated or you have felt frustrated in this connection, Libra. I think that it was essential. Look right underneath it has ascending. It was essential for this person's growth. Okay. So 
one more thing that I'm getting because you have stopping a pattern is this person is feeling very comfortable about stepping out of comfort zones. Like they are like, almost, they're happy about the growth. They're happy about, um, exploring new potential. And I feel like that does include with you. I think that this person is getting to this place where if, um, for example, having an interaction with you, Libra, or, you know, if they are interacting with you, cause I feel like a number of you are, they're okay with, um, being uncomfortable. Listen, the way I'm gonna be honest with you, your person, whoever this is, the way they show up, this is somebody who is just happy to be here. That's the vibe. The sun with the stingray. This is someone that is very aware that life is um, fleeting and our time here is short. And, um, you know, I'm just telling you, it's a very, it's a very positive vibration. Whoever this is, it's a very positive vibration. So like if you are giving this person even a little bit of conversation and communication here, Libra, um, whatever you're sharing with them, they're like, cool. I'm happy. I'm happy just to be interacting, having this interaction with Libra. I'm good. I'm good with it. I like it. Cool. Let's have more of it. I think that you're over here. <laughs> you're over here like, okay, you know, I think with this queen of cups, you're like, ah, you know, I like you too. I, you know, I care about you and I'm happy as well, but I'm still a little pissed. I'm still a little pissed here. Okay. With this, with the scorpion and the, um, addiction card. Okay. Um, did I say, I feel like a number of you are a bit possessive over who this is. That's why, um, I am getting also mother and son. Okay. You show up as the queen of cups, which is cancer, the mother of the Zodiac. And you have literally the son. So for some of you, this is going to resonate for your relationship with your child. Come on. <laughs> so, um, yes, a number of you are a bit possessive over who this is. Okay. And I think that you are, some of you, what I'm seeing is you're watching your child grow. You're watching them change. And a part of you may not like it, but you are going with it. Okay. So. Yeah, because this could be like, I'm getting you being triggered here as well with the scorpion energy with what's happening right now, Libra, it's triggering an energy of lack of self-confidence. Okay. Because if your person is over here, you know, coming into their own or developing this new sense of self. All right. And like, if you look, they may even have like this glow about them right now. Okay. Libra. So your person having this type of energy, it can be a bit triggering, you know, and it's different. All right. Especially if y'all got that mm, Venus and Scorpio, Venus and Scorpio can be very possessive of their person, you know, which is not, you know, it's not, not a bad thing. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it can get bad, but you know, if you know how to like tame the beast, then, you know, and I feel like that's what you're trying to do here. Like, you know, that side of yourself, Libra. So you're like, let me calm it down. All right. So yes, I think that you, um, mm -hmm, are trying to, trying to tame the beast, so to speak. Okay. Cause you know, that side of yourself. Oh yeah. I mean, you've got this cancer energy here. <laughs> you've got the addiction card. You've got the scorpion card. Um, and it's like, you know what else I see too, Libra? You're only giving this person like a small dose of your intensity. That's what I'm getting here. Giving them a small dose of it. Um,
Let's see. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know. I get, I get you being a little jealous, but not, not jealous of your person apart. Like you, you also remember you have the queen of cups. So it's almost like if you look, it's almost like you're looking right at this person. If you see, there's like a glow. I know like she might be watching the fire, but your person shows up as fire. So like you're looking at your person and you look, you're smiling, right? You're like, look at you. Right. But then another part of you is like, look at you. <laughs> Stop shining like that. Everybody can see you. You're mine. You know, um, listen, I'm a Leo, so I get it. Leos can be very possessive, you know, just very possessive. <laughs> But it's honestly like sometimes it gets out of control and you're just like, all right, you need to calm down. Okay. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's what I see you doing here, Libra. You're like, let me calm down. All right. So um, let me read Sodalite for you. So, and, and interestingly enough, we have a seven. So I do see a very spiritual connection here between you and your person. Seven is a highly spiritual um, number. A lot of you uh, I'm getting, you are very spiritual here with the queen of cups, Libra. Okay. So what do I mean by that? Um, I feel like you're very in tune with yourself. You know yourself, Libra. All right. A lot of, you know, you can wear your heart on your sleeve. Okay. Um, but I will say this too, with your person showing up as the sun, they're here to show you something. All right. And they're here to, your person is here to shed light on, um, on this part of you. Look at, look at, it's like almost like the sun illuminating this very jealous side of you. And that's all right. But in order for us to, and again, I get you being very triggered by this. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Why am I so jealous? Um, well, it's because I don't know, Libra, you know, you've got, you, you're dealing with this type of energy. So, you know, I think this is being shown to you for a reason. Okay. And I feel like you're, you are dealing with this very well. I do get that Libra with the six of pentacles. I feel like you're dealing with it very well. You're, you know, trying to remain balanced. Okay. Um, you're not again, trying to give this person a big dose of what you really could be giving them. Okay. So Let's okay. So sodalite. So again, we have the oh, wow. And yeah, there's a Mars. I'm getting seven of wands. Um, I'm getting Mars and Leo, but I feel like that's coming from you. Yes. Um, it's funny because your person has this Leo energy. It's like you're, <laughs> Anyway, I could go on and on. It's like, you're trying to control the sun. Like, you know, you're trying to hold, hold the light, control the light. And you know, you're like, I can't do that because you're a Libra. You're very, you're very rational. You're like, this is irrational. Okay. <laughs> All right, Libra, I'm just picking up on your energy. Okay. So it's nothing wrong with it. You know, it's, it's very, you know, if we get jealous, if we get possessive, it's like, let's look at that. Then it's a feeling we came here to have these feelings. So let's look at it. Okay. Um, so soda light teaches us to be here and now rather than lost in the past or gazing into the future. Meditation with this stone allows us to experience the wisdom of our journey thus far. It encourages non-attachment and integration of all experiences, 
helping us to make choices in the moment from a higher perspective. Okay. From a higher perspective. So your person I feel is coming in. Okay. Cause look, you have, it says stop the pattern, right? They're coming in, coming in as the sun with the stingray. Okay. So I think just as this is, you know, this is not necessarily super comfortable for them coming in here towards you, but they're facing it in that type of vibration where, you know, it's like, I'm going to do what makes me happy. I'm going to live here in the now in the present moment. Okay. And I feel like that energy is coming in to trigger and a lot of y'all. This is about the eclipse coming up tomorrow. So I feel like Libra, this is an energy that, you know, it's like your person is shedding light on this shadow side of yours. All right. Think about an eclipse. So it's shedding light on this shadowy side and it's so that we can look at it and figure out a way to integrate it. Okay. We don't have to get rid of it right? How do we, how do we turn that into gold? Look, look at the six of pentacles. How do we, um, create alchemy? How do we use the dark energy to create what, what it is that we want? And your person is coming in here. Like I can show you, <laughs> I can show you Libra if you want me to. Okay. So you have all these like intense feelings. That's what I'm seeing with you, Libra. There's a lot of intense feelings, um, which is actually great. How do we use those intense feelings to create the outcome that I feel like you want with who this is? Okay. Um, there's some healing here that needs to happen. All right. And your person is shedding light on that. It says, do not forget your worth, your values, and your truth. If you are unsure of the next move to make, I want to make sure that I'm, yep. If you are unsure of the next move to make, um, meditate. And I feel like you're doing that, Libra. As you remain present in the moment, you will more easily avoid spiritual narcolepsy and falling back into the old ways. Okay. So, I see you handling this very well. Like I said, a number of you are older than this person. Okay. Significantly older. So you're more mature. You're, you're able to, based off of experience, you're like, I don't want to, I need to put my stinger array uh, array. That's funny. Look, um, I, did, I just noticed too. stingray. Like I said, this person's coming in, triggering this type of energy with you and look at you, the scorpion with your stinger. Of course, this person's going to come in and trigger you. That's what they're supposed to do. Okay. Like I said, seven is a number is a very spiritual number. And yes, this is, this situation is challenging. Seven is also a number of challenges. I say that because we have a 52, which is a seven. So yes, this is challenging, but it's for a reason. You would not be presented with what's happening here, Libra. It's like, okay, if we're being shown this, if this is occurring, then sit still. And the best thing to do, right, is to, like it says, meditate. Okay. Ask, talk to your higher self, talk to God, talk to whatever you anchor to and say, what, why am I experiencing this? Why am I feeling this? What am I supposed to do with this? Show me what to do with this. How do I channel this and integrate it with, um, creating with the energy that I want to use to create the experience that I'm imagining that I'm visualizing this. Okay. Or that I'm visualizing. All right. So your person showing up with super positive energy. I feel like they're here to help you create something. All right. It's like they're the magician and you're the high priestess almost right now. All right. Those two are a couple and together they work to create magic. All right, Libra. 
So uh, now I'm about to get into part two, see what happens next here in this connection. Feel free to like, leave a comment, subscribe, guys. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit the notifications bell if you do choose to subscribe, okay? So Libra, um, I'm about to let you see the cards for part two. This is where we're going to talk about what I see happening next when next happens, okay? <laughs> Um, remember time is relative and fluid and I'm picking up on the next event, you know, next significant turnaround, which things are going to turn around. I think I showed you the wheel of fortune, right? So luck and abundance. Okay. The five of wands was there, right? So there's obviously conflict and, you know, different type of energies involved here right now, but it's, it's here to create something really big and, um, um, what's the word? Like it's like a big event. That's what I'm hearing. Some sort of big event. That's going to be, it's what you've asked for. It's and it, you're going to view that as lucky Libra. So it, whatever's happening here now, it is associated with your growth, your luck and abundance. Okay. Think about it. Your person's showing up as the sun. That's very positive. Like, it's like, oh shit. Okay. Like, it's like something that you want is here. Someone that you want is here. Okay. Just saying. So, um, here we go. And also too, something that I just heard Libra, like this person is perfectly happy with cutting off whoever for you. That's what they just told me to tell you. I know I sound like a crazy person when I say that. Um, hmm. Yeah. This person's like, I am happy to do it. Amber just came out. Ooh, look at the sun. Yeah. This person's like, I'm, I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to cut off whoever for you, Libra. All right. So, all right. We're also going to talk about outside of what happens next. We're going to pull from the time Oracle deck, give you a timeline of forward movement here, Libra with you two, what this person wants, thinks what they want and what they think is going to be the outcome. Okay. So two different um, cards for that. And then we're going to pull the outcome that I get. And then we're going to pull your advice, of course, Libra. So, I'm going to get into that now. I love you guys. If you're interested in watching part two, keep watching so you can see the cards and that way you can get a gauge on if you're interested or not. If this is where we part ways, Libra, I love you guys. Good luck with everything. Thank you for watching your reading and I'll see you soon. Peace.